It does not make sense for one to say they're Muslim and they don't pray. It doesn't make sense to me. I can't fathom that. I can't comprehend that. How can you say I'm Muslim, you don't pray Salah? How can you even live without Salah? How could he go on in the day without praying to Allah Azza wa Jal, not prostrating in single sujood to Allah Azza wa Jal? How can you carry on? Your life must be a miserable, depressing life. There's no life without Salah. How can you put other things before the Salah? When the time of Salah comes and then you prioritize other things, then you say, I'm going to pray later. Where's your aql gone? That's insanity. I can't understand someone who says that I'm going to put Allah last, something else comes first. Allah put you first in everything. Allah blessed you with everything that you have. And you say, I'm going to come to Allah later. And then you completely abandon it. How could you ever expect Allah Taala to reward you in the hereafter and grant you the Jannah when you're not even doing the minimum to get there? A Bedouin came to the Prophet والسلام, He said, Ya Rasulullah, if I pray my five daily prayers and I fast my month and I do that which is lawful and I abstain from that which is unlawful, will I enter Jannah? The Prophet والسلام, said, yes. If you just do these things, you enter paradise. That's the minimum. Your mother is calling you. She's asking you to do something for her. And later, I can't do this right now. How do you expect to enter Jannah when your mother is calling you? Don't respond to the call. That's Jannah calling you and you say, I don't want it. That's what you said. Allah Ta'ala says to you, you must do this. You must fulfill this command. You must do what I command you to do. And you say, I'm not ready to do this right now. This is very common now nowadays. That some people, they say, I'm not ready for this now. I'm not ready to pray five times a day. If you're not ready to pray five times a day, you're saying, I'm ready for Jahannam.